Sponsored by Brilliant. Get smarter every day and save 20%. Link in the description. Finally, Apple has taken the iPhone to 11 and I'm gonna show it to you right now. I'm Rene Ritchie and this is Vector. So, the successor to last year's breakout best-selling iPhone XR is the iPhone 11. And I like this so much better. The iPhone, the normal iPhone, just the iPhone, not the Plus, not the anything else, has often hovered around the $649 price point. Even when the iPhone X launched the same year, the also then brand new iPhone 8 kept the just the iPhone price at $699. Last year, the just the iPhone somehow ended up being the XS, starting at $999, with the XR slotted underneath at $749. And it made some people just super salty and fueled this weird backlash narrative that obviously didn't stop the 10R from being a bestseller, but might have had a chilling effect going forward. This fixes that. $699 for the iPhone 11, not the iPhone 11R, just the new normal. Obviously, we didn't get all the colors of the Apple rainbow, not even the event invitation, and certainly nothing retro iMac translucent. What we did get is black and white, new shades of yellow and product red, and brand new purple and green colors, which replaced last year's blue and coral orange. And they're not my favorites. I've wanted a purple iPhone for basically forever, but something less lavender and more aggressively grape. Same with the green, less metallic mint, more punchy lime. But that's hugely subjective, and I'm loving this yellow more than the last, even if product red, new shade and all, remains my main jam. Just looks so good. The finishes are machined glass, where the iPhone Pros are matte glass with shiny camera bumps, the 11s are shiny glass with matte camera bumps, and it makes for a nice contrast. It's also a pretty cool effect, especially with the new simplified branding. No iPhone spelled out at all, just the Apple logo, newly centered and much better looking to my eye. Last year, Apple tried to pull a pixel, using segmentation masking to do portrait mode off a single lens. Luckily, Apple learned in one year what's taken Google several. More depth data, more better. So, we get a dual camera system on the iPhone 11, which may sound like what every iPhone Plus has had since the 7 and the 10 and 10s, but actually it's different. Instead of effective 26mm wide angle and 52mm telephoto cameras, the 11 comes with a 26mm wide angle and a 13mm ultra wide angle. In other words, where the previous dual camera phones could optically punch in, these can punch out. And I think it's a smart choice. It lets you capture more of the world from your room to your squad to the view from your hike. I explained a lot more about how it works, including night mode, the new interface that hints at heretofore unobtainable wideness in my iPhone 11 Pro video, along with a bunch of details about the super impressive looking new Apple A13 Bionic chipset that powers it all. So be sure to check that video out. There's an all new true depth camera system up front this year as well. iOS 13 is making it faster and opening it up to wider angles. iPhone 11 is amping up the camera itself though. 12 megapixels, f2.2 now, and it can go wide Wider. You can tap the expand button to manually boot it into wider mode, turning your selfie into a groupie. Or if you rotate to landscape, you'll automatically get booted into the wider angle groupie mode, though you can hit that same button to zoom back into selfie. And there's slow mo on the selfie cam as well, so you can take, wait for it, <laughs> slow fees. Yeah, slow fees. I know, I know. Honestly, though, I'm way more excited for wide angle than slow mo. The latter is a neat trick. The former is something I want to do every time I'm with my friends and family, and now I can. I'm gonna keep saying this until someone, anyone in general tech hears me. No one needs to upgrade every year. Not even Apple expects that anymore, though if you really want to because you just have to always have the latest and greatest, or you're on an annual upgrade program and it's just automatic, ain't no one gonna stop you either. Otherwise, upgrade when you need to. If you're still on an iPhone 6S or iPhone 7, especially a non-plus, then iPhone 11 could be a terrific upgrade for you. Yeah, it's still got bigger borders and it's still LCD, but it's damn good LCD. And when you do the sub-pixel math, the quantity and quality of the pixels shames a lot of higher density panels, just shames them. 
After a year on the 10R, it's still hard for me to see the difference. And if OLED flicker bothers you, then this is still your best friend. The price is 50 bucks lower than last year, and you're getting a bunch more bang for your phone buck. Apple's also pushing trade-ins and now payment options harder than ever. So you can get in for less and pay out over a longer period of time. And you're still getting most of the features of the higher end pro models, especially when it comes to performance and including all the new programs, all the Apple stores are continuously offering now for free. This is the new iPhone for everyone, fully realized. And if it's for you, you just gotta figure out which of the new colors you want. And if you wanna make the bits that power these atoms, check out Brilliant. Brilliant is a problem-solving website that uses a hands-on approach with storytelling, code writing, interactive challenges, and so much more. There are over 50 interactive courses for you to dive into, including computer science fundamentals, perfect for high school or college students, or early professionals who want to brush up on the basics and strengthen their knowledge of core concepts. They're all built for ambitious and curious people who want to better understand the world and maybe help shape it. To support Vector and get unlimited access to Brilliant's courses and daily challenges, just head on over to brilliant.org slash vector and get 20% off their annual premium subscription. Thanks Brilliant and thanks to all of you for supporting Vector. So you've heard what I think. Now hit like if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, haptic smash that bell gizmo so you don't miss any of the other videos I'm sending your way this week. And then hit up the comments and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you next video.